टू वट एवर टाइम ऑफ द डे यू वॉचिंग दिस एट आई एम मलिशिका ऑल्सो नोन एज प्यार से मुंबई की वाणी एंड आई एम योर हॉट स्टेप ऑन हॉट फ्लाई दीज डेज आई एम कॉल्ड मदर ट्रीजा एंड डिजाइनर क्लोथ सीरियसली अभी ओके कॉन्टेंट मैं संभालूंगी लुक तुम संभाल लेना She is one of the biggest voices on radio and she's been doing it for more than a decade. The city of Mumbai wakes up to her chirpy voice every day from Monday to Friday. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. What motivates you each day to get up, show up and do the things you love? To me every day when I wake up it's a new show. I'm like what am I going to teach the city today or what am I going to talk about? What am I going to learn? It literally is that. While it sounds like a lot of fun and games, Malishka's show isn't limited to just that. She is often the one taking up issues and pulling up the people in power, making them answerable. I also really like helping people. I know that every single day that I'm on the airwaves talking to people, something somewhere changes, and I think that's very important to me. It was always about giving the voiceless a voice, whether it's an animal or whether it's a human being who needs it, like in dire need, and staying entertaining at the same time. Then of course there will be these things. There'll be people who are threatened, and good. Go and do your work. Go and do your job. मुंबई तुला बी एम सी वर भरोसा नहीं का मुंबई ऐसी रस्त्या मध्य झोल झोल रस्त्या खड्डे कसे खोल खोल People have lost lives. Yes. Someone needs to take responsibility for that. And just like that, suddenly Malishka was everywhere. News channels are talking about it every day. Newspapers are maligning you every day. Anchors on television are shouting their lungs out, saying, "You know, get this fixed." People are saying it every day. You didn't do anything about it. A song rankled you. The song ban ne chahiye. If you ask me, one song. In fact, everyone should make a song. What was great about that part is that the people took care of it for me. I didn't have to defend myself. I didn't have to say anything because the people recognize that this is not this girl's song. This is our song. It is what we are going through. She's telling it like it is. What does it take to be such a badass? Were you always like this? Ah, I'm glad you asked. My God, I'm glad you asked. Even as a kid, I was a not unky, as my folks would call me. I used to love performing. We used to enact jokes, dances, dialogues from movies, and we used to call the adults later on in the evening, come and sit. वो मेरे ही घर में ऐसे मतलब हो जाता था. They would sit. We would perform it, and then there would be points and ratings. I have always enjoyed arts, acting, singing, dancing. Was in my blood. I lived for extracurriculars. and that's what i've always wanted to do even when i joined radio i think the first thing i told them was as long as you don't stop me from doing anything else i want to i'm good in fact she is not just a voice on radio anymore she is a force to reckon with on social media as well 1.32 million followers on twitter alone and 170000 on instagram we used to literally say that we will roll out of bed and get to work and that was the case for the longest time now i have boria bistra in my car like there's makeup there'll be different kinds of clothes because does it they, like who's coming there'll be prop i love it so this is what you're like on air and online what do you like behind the scenes i love traveling a lot oh i go diving i love diving in fact my birthday is coming up i want to go and uh, dive i have my friends over very often like i i need a small excuse to throw a party it also makes me very very nervous anyone interested in making another travel show i'm your girl okay tell us something that nobody knows about you why would i tell anyone <laughs> actually in college there was a time when i couldn't talk in front of an audience i would laugh through it also but internally i was dazed brain freeze would happen malishka has people hanging on to every word she says so please believe not only in the power of gaining attention but also in paying attention inspiring a whole generation of women to pursue their dreams in my life being a girl boss for me has meant circumventing or going through jumping across hurdles that you falter you stumble the world will tell you you can't do it there are things you are not meant to do and yet when you believe those things become possible